it's lovely to have use essential oils in a bath. It's beautiful, it's warming, it's relaxing. You're getting it topically on your skin and also inhaling it. And with the warm water, it opens up the pores for better uh, absorption as well. Now, this also could be a disaster. So I want to teach you the right way to uh, have a bath with essential oils. Now, so many so many um, sites and books will just say, sprinkle in your, uh, where are we? Sprinkle in your, your essential oils, you know, five to six drops into the bath and swish it around. Do not do this, okay? You already know that they will not dissolve in water. Now, what happens is this, your, as I said to you before, the, your, the warm water will open up your pores and now you've got globules of pure essential oils around your, going through your water in your bath. And with the heat, they can irritate even more. And generally, what they'll go to are sensitive areas in your body, need I say any more, and can give you a real sting. So make sure that you put them into something like, um, this is Castile soap, any sort of soap, soap will do, shampoo, uh, or a vegetable oil, coconut oil, if you wanna make a more luxurious bath with some oils, it'll go into your skin as well. Um, but so that's what you need to do. You must dilute them, one tablespoon, of say oil or shampoo and uh, and then or soap as I say and you can put in anywhere between well, five percent into a tablespoon will be one percent one percent anywhere between one and four percent so anywhere between five drops to twenty drops which will give you a five percent dilution and then put them in and swirl them around in your bath and then you will have diluted essential oils within your bath and you won't have to worry about having globules of essential oils potentially causing you a very nasty reaction.